People need to be held accountable for their actions. Otherwise, why do we have laws? Tonight, families are one step closer to justice. Three years after a deadly crash that police say was caused by a distracted driver. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Dan Maris. We have new details on a case that we've been following for years now. In 2019, Caitlin Festerling and Paul Garcia were killed in a car crash when their vehicle was rear-ended and pushed into oncoming traffic. Investigators say the driver of the vehicle who rear-ended them was texting and driving. Today, the case against the driver is moving forward. 13 News reporter Michaela Nowitzki spoke with one of the victim's families and joins us live. Michaela with the latest. Well, Dan, this memorial has been here for years as the families of Caitlin Festering and Paul Garcia sought justice. Today, there was an arraignment for the driver, Jana Brienne Gerard, over three years since these families were changed forever. It feels like it's about time. <laughs> this has been going on for so long, and it's definitely been a roller coaster ride of emotions. The indictment for Jana Brienne Gerard came down last week. And today she was arraigned on the following charges, two counts of manslaughter, two counts of criminal damage, endangerment and tampering with physical evidence. Caitlin Festerling's mother, Julie, says waiting for justice has made it hard to grieve the loss of Caitlin and Paul. We really want justice. We want the person who caused the crash that killed the kids to be held accountable. She's not shown any remorse, and that's what came up in court today. The lack of remorse, the lack of accountability. There's been no empathy or sympathy shown at all. Festerling says COVID pushed back the case and kept it from moving forward. But during that time, she and Paul's mom took action by co-founding the nonprofit Phones Down, Just Drive. Together, they are working to educate the community and make roadways safer. With April being National Distracted Driving Awareness Month, I've partnered up with DPS. There's a state trooper, Tim Vargo, who I go into schools with, and he and I talk to students um, in health classes, in driver's ed classes. They also have plans to hand out hands-free device holders to anyone who needs one. Festerling says she wants people to understand that no one is invincible. She hopes the message behind Phones Down Just Drive will keep this from happening to other families and keep the memory of Caitlin and Paul alive. And they had a whole future ahead of them. And that future got cut short just because of somebody's selfishness. So I just want everyone to remember how amazing these kids are. They still are. They're in heaven. They're watching over us. They're still with us. And that's what keeps us going. And the family tells me the next hearing will be on May 26 at 9 a.m. This is a developing story, so stay with us on air and online for the latest. Reporting live in Oro Valley, Mikhail Novitsky, 13 News. Tucson after a deadly shooting at a parking.